Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. We got to have a talk about hygiene. Real quick. Like, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Appreciate the resub, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we did finish God of War 2. And I think, you know what I'm saying? I think that's fantastic. I think that's great that I was able to accomplish that. You know what I'm saying? We all did it together, even, even though it was mainly me. So, hygiene, right? Hygiene. I'm not talking. I'm not, it's not even an ad. It's not an ad. There's no sponsor. There's no sponsor. Stop. Stop. There's no sponsor. I'm just saying. I saw something the other day that really made me have a new perspective on how far we we actually have progressed as a society. And I don't know. It just made me. I went to go visit one of my friends, right? And he got a roommate. And, you know, we all in our mid to, you know, closing in on late 20s. So after a certain point, it's like it's really no excuse. After a certain point, there's nothing else that you can learn. There's nothing else that anyone can tell you about, like, how to do it, how to wash your ass. There's nothing nobody else can tell you. I saw the B. Simone shit. That's why I wanted to talk about this real quick. Because I'm like, yo, that's crazy that, like, I get it, too. Don't don't get me wrong. I, I, I understand the idea of working so hard that you feel like you tired enough to carry a whole day into your bedroom. You know what I'm saying? But let's that's some shit that you just apologizing to me. Let's not talk about that because it's not happening. But that's some shit that you like. I don't know. Like you work so hard and you like, damn, or I forgot to shower today or I forgot. You know what I'm saying about this thing? or I forgot about that thing. And it's like it's like you keep that shit to yourself because, you, you know, on a regular basis, on the normal shit, on like the everyday type energy, you're going to take a shower once a day. You know what I'm saying? You know that. So it's really like if you miss a day, it's like, damn, I, I shouldn't say that because this isn't behavior that I think is normal. You know what I'm saying? I can understand how it can happen. I'm not saying that it should, but I can understand how it can happen given how some people's work schedule is or if they just that tired that they miss one day or something like that. But it's not a regular thing. You know what I'm saying? But. I bet half the shot don't be washing their ass and really get in there. Okay, really get in there is just like, like, I, lo, like low key. I, I'm like, you gotta molest yourself, honestly. Like, you really have to, to like really understand what parts of your body. Like, you really gotta make sure you are invading your own privacy. Basically, you have to. You have to. There's no other way to do it. There's no other way to do it. There's no other way. And so when I when I was like I said, I was visiting my homie, right? And he got a roommate. And like I said, mid, late 20s and shit like that. You know, like you like basically my opinion is keep digging deeper until something happens. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my opinion. That's my opinion. If you're not willing to go the extra mile for yourself, what like what the fuck? Anyway. It was early in the morning shit, like maybe I want to say like 10. Appreciate the gifted. Like maybe 10. Bro, stop. Stop. We not even like, why are you doing that? Like, it's not even what this is. It was like 10. Right. I went over there and I'm like, hey, what's up? Dap him up. We cool and everything like that. He, he walked past me. He walked past me and I caught a whiff. And I'm like, yo, yo, yo. Is that some new like, you know, either he uses some new shampoo. He got another body wash or he just smelled great today. I'm like, yo, what's that? I'm like, yo, what's that? Nigga walked me to the bathroom, showed me some body wash. I'm like, oh my God, that's what you doing? I'm like, what you doing? That's crazy. That's great. I took a sniff of it. I'm like, yo, that's fire, bro. I ain't even, I ain't even know they had this out. So boom, 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 whatever. I walk past, and as I walk past, I see his homie on the couch. Keep in mind, we don't really, you know what I'm saying? Variation of in one you gotta go. Whoa, chill. So we've talked before me and his homie, but like we ain't like close or like super buddy, buddy friends like that or nothing like that. But we cool. You know, I see him dap him up. What's up? How you been? You know, on the way. But on our way to go somewhere. His homie tagging along. I'm like, all right, cool. Nothing too crazy. But I see him off the wake up. I see him off the wake up. And so I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, 
surely this nigga about to head to the shower real quick because like i ain't like i ain't pressed to be nowhere at a certain time you know what i'm saying i ain't pressed to be nowhere at a certain time like you ain't gotta rush for me don't neglect your hygiene for me or for for your mans over here like we ain't gotta be nowhere crazy no time soon like chill like we, we'll wait 10 minutes bro for you to get yourself together you know what i'm saying you already got a cut you know what i'm saying beer not too crazy we chilling well wait this nigga hop up off the wake up and i see him dart to the guest room and in my mind i'm like okay he must be going to go get some some underwear you know what i'm saying some boxers some 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 ethicus you know what i'm saying something, something crazy you know what i'm saying to bring himself into the other to into the bathroom to get himself together but this nigga decided you know what nah today's not the day to get clean and in my mind it's like a thousand and one red fucking flags going off i'm like yo why you just passed the bathroom so casually like that he come back out with a whole new fit keep in mind he's off the wake up of the couch he's off the wake up of the couch comes back out nigga got on the what do you call it the nigga got on the puffer jacket with the new sweats and everything like that clean ass ones i don't know where he got him clean ass ones nigga grabs some cologne i see him grab the cologne because it's in the hallway so i'm grab the cologne and just do a quick one two and in my mind i'm like yo you might be able to even though it's crazy you might be able to get away get away with some shit like that when you like 14 15 16 you run into the store real quick and you just need to get something real quick and then go back but we wasn't doing that we was actually like going like on some downtown we gonna be gone for a few hours type shit just wanted to say and so the content bro. appreciate that stan me through some tough times while i was in afghanistan jesus christ stream and stay safe love you gesture i mean i hope you're okay and the people you went to go see um <clears throat> But yeah, I appreciate you, man. For real, on God. Uh, so in my mind, I'm like, you know what? It shouldn't be too crazy. Maybe you don't wash your body, but like, he probably gonna go in the bathroom. He gotta go in the bathroom, right? There's something that he gonna need in the bathroom, right? So I, he goes in the bathroom, and I see, yo, that's that's crazy. Uh, he gotta brush his teeth. You know what I mean? He gotta brush his teeth. This nigga comes back out of the bathroom um not only just with a brush i don't hear no water running no no soap being dispensed out of the dispensary areas 30 seconds go by nigga come out with a brush and some gum and so in my mind i know bro 28 i know it i know bro 28 so in my mind i'm thinking to myself wow i just witnessed a nigga like completely skip skip the regular stages i watched the nigga completely skip the regular stages in our later years you know what i'm saying i'm observing this shit like i'm watching an episode in uh, national geographic where you're seeing like a feline no 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 stop why don't you just tell this fool stop 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 it's not as simple as telling somebody that they smell because a lot of people have this thing about them where they calculate when to hygienate so some niggas won't shower until they start to smell. You, you feel what I'm saying? And they get to a point or a stage where they convince themselves that it's okay to not shower until you smell something. And that's the type of timing that I think he was on. Because if you walk around, right, like, like I, I, I put cologne on, right? I put cologne on and I put it on my, I put it on my clothes and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And so oftentimes I don't have to put on new cologne if I wear something because the cologne residue from inside my closet going to spread to my other clothes. So even if I didn't shower, hypothetically, I would still smell good because my clothes smell good. But I didn't think that was the approach that niggas was taking. And when it came to their own hygiene, I know that's cologne. I know that's cologne. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of niggas not going to take that shower until, yo, you pull down your pants and then it's like, whoa, it's a whole new world. And you didn't even know that existed. How did that come up out of you? That's what a lot of niggas wait for. 
So I wanted to say this little PSA. I wanted to have this little PSA because it's a pandemic going on and it's not just COVID. It's, it's niggas and ass washing. I remember Red Fox said this a long time ago. He said, you ain't got to wash your whole ass. You got to wash your ass whole. I say it again. You ain't got to wash your whole ass. You got to wash your ass whole. It's crazy when you think about niggas not coming in with the mindset that I got to at least hop in there and splash myself with something. I got to leave here with something. But it's a lot of niggas that won't do that. And then I saw, right, so in my mind, in the back of my mind, the B. Simone shit didn't hit me until I saw this nigga do it. And then I'm like, oh, it's all coming together. It's all coming together right now. Stop calling me. It's all coming together right now. Like niggas are really using the excuse that I work too hard to wash my ass. Niggas are using the excuse that I'm going through too much to wash my ass. Now, unless you old... And you to a point where there are certain disabilities that are hitting you crazy or you're not fully able bodied and you're not able to, you know, fully hygienate your own self or unless you're depressed. There should be no reason why you can't hop your ass in that shower once a day. Just once. It don't take long. I don't want nobody coming in here with the two showers a day because that's bad for your skin. You walking around, you look 80 at 20 because you decided to over cleanse yourself because you got OCD. Nothing wrong with that, but there is something wrong with it. Don't take away your natural oils once a day. Clean your face twice a day. Brush your teeth once or twice a day. At least that's it. Nobody asking for too much. Nobody asking for too much. But there should be no reason why you walk in the house after a long ass day and you bring your whole day with you. You should not walk in the house, bring your whole day with you and then hop your ass in the bed. That shouldn't be what you're doing. You walking around with the past, present and future at the exact same time, all because you decided not to take two to three minutes out your out your night, out your evening to be like, yo, let me just let me wash off my sins real quick. Even religious people get baptized. You think they get baptized just because? It's a free shower. Free bath, bro. Something. It's not much, but it's something. Two to three minutes, you take 20. I'm not going to lie, Traza, unless you're 345 pounds, there's no reason it should take 20 minutes to wash your body. Some of y'all just wasting water. I know it's a lot of thick thigh niggas in here or whatever the fuck y'all got going on. It shouldn't take that long. I don't know what demons you washing off in the shower, but it shouldn't take longer than like I'm I, personally because I got family coming over tomorrow for Thanksgiving week. So this is probably going to be the last stream until like end of November. Probably. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, But. I'm going to take careful consideration and like really hone in on how long they in the shower for. Because a lot of niggas just, just sit in there and just like, what are you doing, bro? You don't got a wash routine. You're not washing your hair. You're not doing nothing crazy in there, bro. I see you. I don't see you, but I see you, bro. I hear you. Five minutes really is all it takes. That's really all it takes. No, I don't have no concerts in the shower, bro. I actually care about the environment. I actually care about the environment. And so rather than waste water, like y'all niggas probably run the water while you're brushing your teeth. You probably run the water continuously while you're washing the dishes. Like you don't you don't save on anything, bro. You don't save on nothing. Nothing at all. And it's OK if that's the lane that you decided to go. That's that's the path that you're willing to take with your own life. Me, I got to be different. You know what I'm saying? I got to be on my own type of, you know, what I'm saying energy. You're ruining the environment with electricity right now. I'm not ruining the environment. I'm not ruining it. I'm using as little resources as humanly possible to get by. I got two lamps on right now. These are electric. They're not even connected to an outlet. These are battery power, bitch. I don't got my light on right there. You be shitting in the shower. Oh, I thought you said you were shitting in the shower. That would have been a crazy admission. 
That would have been a crazy admission. I heard it wrong, but I'm going to go with that, what I said. So you're shitting in the shower, so you got extra shit to clean. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. You're moving different. You're moving mod, and it's okay, but it's not. It's not okay. All I'm saying is I saw the excuses that this B. Simone girl was giving, and I found out that she just wasn't giving. And I sat back and I looked and I thought to myself, like, damn, the other niggas that are sitting on her podcast with her aren't calling her out on it on some like, yo, what's good with you? You realize that's not okay, right? You realize that's not all right, right? So I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say, you know, no matter how tired you get, no matter what's going on in your life, you got to wash your ass. You got to wash your ass, man. Yeah, the whole five, the whole like what more than one shower a day and you're overdoing it. And I only say you're overdoing it. So here, here's how it's supposed to go. In my opinion, this is my personal opinion. I'm not trying to push my political v- beliefs on you. OK, because I know niggas going to take the niggas going to look at hygiene and they're going to turn it into a politics debate. Like if I if I, I know like the, the the type of the type of niggas that be on YouTube and shit like that, the type of niggas that be on YouTube and shit like that, they'll take you saying, "Yo, this is how long I think you should you know hygiene yourself or whatever the fuck you want to call it," and then they'll sit back and they'll be like, "Yo, why are you why are you talking about politics? Why are you making everything political?" They do that a lot. I don't know why they do that for shit that's completely unrelated to politics. They'll do that for no reason. Whatever. So in my mind, you know what I'm saying? I think these are the appropriate times for you to to, to, to to do your hygiene routine, right? Now, there are certain conditions and certain scenarios. If you have the type of lifestyle, if you have the type of life, I'm not talking about homelessness. Homelessness are exempt from this conversation. That has nothing to do with this. If you have the type of lifestyle that demands that you work from like a morning until evening situation, I think it's best for you to take your your shower when you get home. That's when I think it's best for you to take your shower, right? No matter how tired you are, you're not going to bring your whole day with you into your bed. So go ahead and do it once. Go ahead and do it once. What do I think about people who are extra about the environment? Like they piss in the shower to save water. I mean, personally, I don't really think that pissing in the shower is extra. Like, niggas piss in the pool every day. That's why I don't use public pools. That's why I don't go to the beach. But anyway, if you want to piss in the shower, again, that's another thing that I'm not advocating for you to admit. But it's okay. Like, let's let's not let's not be let's 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 be objective. Just like those white women who don't shower, five minutes is crazy. Five minutes is crazy to a nigga that's not waste like to a nigga that's wasting time. Five minute shower sounds crazy to a nigga that's wasting time. If you get in there about business and not on bullshit and you get to your areas and you do your whole body scrub and I mean scr- like deep scrub a dub dub. I even can exfoliate and condition my, my, my skin after that and still have extra time. What the fuck do you niggas be doing in the shower? Why are you stroking your shit when it's wet outside? Why, why are you? St- There's no other reason for you to be in the shower past that, that amount of time, bro. There's really no reason. There's no reason. What are you doing in there, bro? What are you doing? I genuinely have no idea. You're not singing. You're not singing. Most of you niggas can't sing. So stop with this. You bring in a Bluetooth speaker in the shower, in the bathroom with you. Stop. Stop. You, you got a job, right? You go to school. How long can you dedicate to the shower? Room? Just stop. Just stop. Are you just telling us to wash ourselves? The only time it's acceptable not to wash yourself for like weeks is like when you in a deep depression. Yeah, but that's different. I already mentioned about, you know, unless you're not able bodied, if you're older and you're getting to a point where disabilities are starting to kick in or it's getting more difficult for you to wash yourself on a regular consistent basis or unless you fall into a deep depression, those are some of the few exceptions where I'm like, you know what, this person's not even in this conversation, that's okay. But for most niggas, regular niggas, you can get up and go to work every single day 
and you in this routine and somehow have convinced yourself that it's okay for you to not take a shower because you're too tired, that's different. That's different. So my, my whole regimen, again, was to just say, if you living in one of those situations where you got a morning to evening work schedule, I think it's best for you to take your shower before you go to sleep. You wash your face before you go to sleep as well. But don't wash your face in the shower. That's bad. That's bad for you. OK, this is why I don't believe in niggas taking more than one shower per day because you're going to dry out your skin at some point. You're going to end up looking 50 when you're 25 and that's never a good look. OK. Then when you wake up, you wash your face again, brush your teeth, do your little routine regimen. I'm OK with someone not taking a shower when they wake up. If when they get home, they have to take a shower again. I'm OK with that. Now, if you decide to, that's fine. But if you go to the end of the day and that's when you want to wash your whole shit off. Then go ahead and do that. That's okay. Why is it bad? Why is what bad? You still using water. Why is what bad? Why is what bad? The shower is the only time I can be alone. I will take my time. Yeah, no. Something wrong with you. Like, you the reason that the environment not going. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, 9 to 14 minutes still crazy. Why do you wash your face in the shower? Y'all are revealing a lot about yourselves. Y'all are revealing a lot about yourselves. There's no real routine for me. It's as simple as putting warm water on my face to open up my pores, putting the exfoliator on my face to scrub my skin, washing and rinsing that off with the same warm water. You're still weird, Sean, for only taking five minutes in the shower. I didn't say I only take five minutes in the shower. I'm saying that you can get everything that you need to get done in five minutes while you're in the shower. These niggas pretending like you need 10, 20 minutes in the shower to wash your body is fucking insane. That's what I'm saying. It's a bunch of unemployed ass niggas that bring their Bluetooth in the shower, having these TikTok ass concerts in their fucking bathroom, pretending like, oh shit, I can just, I can afford to just do that. What's wrong with you? I, I saw niggas in here talking about, oh yeah, I wash my face in the shower. What, what, what are you doing? That's the problem with niggas. Y'all try to do everything in the same spot. You can't. Now, I didn't say I only spend five minutes in the bathroom, but it doesn't take me that long to finish my shower. It does not. There's something wrong with you if you are legitimately washing your body for 10 nonstop minutes. Get yourself a scrubber. And it, bro, y'all niggas, bro, I just can't. I can't. There's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. What are you doing? What you doing? How am I? I'm not sick at all. That's what I'm saying. These niggas must wash their face, brush their teeth, everything in the shower. My ass bigger than yours. I got to take my time, but you won't relate to that little bro. Bro, if you don't spread your fucking butt cheeks. Take that fucking rag, boom, scrub one side, boom, scrub the other inside and then out. Like I said before, you ain't got to wash your whole ass. You got to wash your ass whole. There's nothing like, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm convinced. Like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Even if you got a fat ass. What's wrong with washing your face in the shower? It's too hot. Two birds with one stone. That's the problem. That's the problem with niggas. That sounds like that's a, that's like that, that's the type of comment that comes from somebody that uses the all in one body wash. Wash your hair, scrub your face, uh, uh fucking conditioner, body wash, like all in one. Ten minute shower is good. It's enough time for you to enjoy just the feeling of enjoying the water. And if you're a lady, like you're wasting you water. Shave her legs and stuff. It's also extra time. You're wasting water. Time, 10 minutes, like half of that is just me enjoying the water on me and taking everything. OK, W admission. Great admission. She admits that we are not supposed to be in there that long if we're handling business. If we're handling business, it doesn't take that long. She just admitted it. OK. Nigga, we turn it off. Turn what off? What are you talking about? Ja talking about 15 to 20 minutes at least. 
you niggas are killing the world and then you wonder why like animals don't really fuck with y'all and why random fucking like diseases just pop up out of nowhere bro like y'all actually wonder why that's what i'm saying bro the only thing that you should be doing in the shower is showering that's the only thing you should be doing in the shower not washing your face not shaving not okay, fuck are you okay with people taking that extra time if they got everything handled and they just want to enjoy themselves personally i think if you just want to enjoy yourself in the bathroom just take Don't a bath then sean if you care about animals what'd you say no 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 wait wait Who let me go back utility bills if you're taking 15 minutes plus shower yeah i don't know but water bill isn't that big it's not that bad like i think it, are y'all like me stuff don't even work and mostly bad for you yeah but i don't I only take a bath like once a week i don't do the bath thing often and i i like i i i think i've only taken like three baths since i've been here i don't take many baths baths are a rarity because you have to like prepare yourself to really like i i gotta be on my runs house intro shit to really enjoy my bath shower in my bathroom no bathtub so that's out of the question for me only got a shower in my bathroom no bathtub yeah okay that's fine that's fine too but anyway hold on let me go back because someone brought up a great point oh yeah utility bills utility bills i don't know if y'all are like me and your your water bill comes like once every two or once every three months do they combine them for y'all too or is it just me Y'all get a do you get a monthly water bill? I haven't gotten a monthly water bill since I was like ten years old. Sean, do you wash your hair every day or are you an intelligent gent? That's another thing. I think people actually wash their hair every day. You get a monthly bill? What the fuck? That's crazy. Unless you're crazy white. And your hair can just retain its like youth and everything like that without drying out, which I don't believe. I guess you can wash your hair every day, but I still don't think this is a great idea. I wasn't saying that I was paying bills at 10 years old. I'm saying that I haven't received a water bill, like looked at a water bill where at my, at my residence where it was monthly since I was 10 years old. Now once a week bath is crazy. Bro sits in dirty water is criticizing us for taking time in the shower, Lamau. Um, I, nobody said I didn't take a shower after my bath. The fuck? I'm understanding that you sit there in your own, like, filth for however long. That don't mean that a bath don't still feel you good as fuck. Are bath, you dumb? Because a bath is just swimming in own dirt. You, you, thank you. Okay, we all watch our Carly. All right, shut the fuck up. Second, you could take a shower right after the bath. Don't what are you know, cooking? Are you a hot shower or cold shower person? Are you fucking insane? I was always doing cold showers. What's wrong with you? I didn't say R. Carly. I said R. Kelly. Second of all, are you a bubble bath enjoyer? Also, a bath is for leisure. A shower is for buoyness. Apparently not. If you're doing all this extra shit in the shower, which you're not supposed to be doing, a, a cold shower sounds insane to me. You can't even open up your pores with a cold shower. So I already know you dirty as fuck. Yeah, but like I said, I've done that three times since I've lived at this one residence. And I've lived here for what, three months? Three months? Cold showers are the best. What you mean? Bro, stop. 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 I don't know what y'all be doing. I don't know what y'all be doing. try it i know what a cold shower feel like when i when i had really bad Sleep issues with insomnia shower now about to be at least 15 minutes <sighs> must lava multiple times so bro I, no 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 no. okay you're just a dirty nigga you all messed up that's, what that's what it is that's what it is that's what it is you're just dirty you're dirty that's what it is that's what it is i figured it out that's what it is you're just a dirty nigga, bro. That's it. There's no reason that you mean. What do you mean you gotta lather multiple times? Are you okay? Are you good? So you admit that how showers open pores, but then why would I not wash my face in there? Because that's not how you do it. The shower water that you generally gonna use is too hot. 
You never use hot water on your face. You use warm water to open up those pores. The body skin and the face skin are two totally different skins. You can't apply the same regimen to both. This is crazy. Nah, you're not about to talk. Not, don't talk about my 20%, bro. Don't talk about that 20%. Okay, if you got, you know, face skin of a of a lumberjack, just say that. But second of all, you shower with your partner in a nonsensual way or is it only showing together when you got some weasness? First of all, first of all, I don't shower with my partner. That's first of all, boundaries, nigga. All right? That's why you don't get in relationships and shit like that. So you don't have to take showers with niggas. That's 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 rule number 1. Now, have I taken a shower with individuals? Sure. But it's different in the sense that is rarely much in terms of like taking the shower seriously and that's when you realize yo why am i taking a shower with a whole other person unless we fucking and then it's like yo why am i in the shower with you chill hold on no 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 i'm not done yet i'm not done yet i'm about to come back to you 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 i'm about to come back i'm about to come back to you unless we are fucking in the shower which again when you do actually fuck in the shower and you realize how trash it is why am I taking a shower with another person and not just taking one with myself by myself? And let, wh am I helping you clean your ass? Like, what are we in the shower together for? Am I am I tr am I tripping? There's no reason for me to be in a shower with a girl that I'm fucking around. With. Why? Ha have your time in there. I have my time. What, what, what are we doing? We don't. We're not that close. We don't need to do everything together. What's the hoodie I'm wearing? I honestly don't know the brand of this hoodie. I don't. Shower together to save water. Uh -huh. Bro, that's crazy. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Foreplay in the shower is insane. <laughs> that is nuts. For what? Are you good? Nigga said foreplay in the shower and it's crazy. Wait, let me go back. So you're saying if I shower in cold water, it's okay for me to wash my face in the shower? No. Don't shower in cold water either, unless you're trying to stay awake. Now, when I was having my battle with insomnia, I showered cold only to keep myself up. Because I was trying to keep myself up until a point where I could last long enough during the rest of the day to finally fall asleep at a specific time so I could go to sleep and then get back to my sleep routine. But there's no reason for you to take a cold shower. Shower sex is cool until a nigga end up. What? <laughs> no, I get what you mean now. I get what you mean. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. But that's never happened though, to be honest. That's never happened. <laughs> that was funny. I can't lie. That was funny. Um wait, I don't understand this since washing your face is an essential part. Washing your face is not a part of showering, and I wish niggas would stop perpetuating this lie. This is not the truth. There is a routine in the bathroom and there is a routine in the shower. The shower is meant for your body. The other parts of the bathroom are meant for the other parts of your body. Face outside of the shower, mouth and teeth. You can do that in the shower, but I would still rather you do that, you know, in front of the sink. But shower, th th this is why I think that's why this is the misconception. This is this is where we at. This is the difference. I mean, it's not a source. It's a fact that hot water does more damage to your face. It just does. The skin on your face is thinner than the skin on your body. So you're not supposed to use the same regimen that you use for your body skin versus your face skin. This is just a fact. I think that shower, I think that brushing your teeth in the shower is weird too, but you can get away with it. You can get away with it. But I'd really just be thinking, bro, like, just take, just brush your teeth before you hop in the shower, in my opinion, or after you get out. It's not that deep to me, but hey, if you if you need to save on that much time, it is what it is. What about pissing in the shower? We already talked about this. Um, I'm not saying that I support it, but I understand it. I'm not saying I support it, but I understand it. Niggas get in the public pool. And in the, in, the, in the beach water all the time, I don't care. I don't care. But 
Yeah, you're saying it's convenient. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Too many steps. Just wash face and brush teeth in the shower. You're a nasty nigga, bro. And just say that. Shout out Sean for talking up carrot soap. Shit go crazy. That's facts. Carrot soap is insane. Carrot soap is amazing. So brushing your teeth in the shower is okay, but washing your face is not? I didn't say it was okay. I didn't say it was okay. I said that you can get away with it. But washing your face is just not something that should happen in the shower. Like, why are you like, I'm not mixing up my words here. I'm being very consistent since the very beginning. What's going on? What about, okay. I'm not about to answer that because you're just chatting. Why would I do that? Calling someone nasty when you shower in the time it takes to cook a TV dinner is wild. That's not wild at all. You trying to convince me that all these things that you were doing in the in the shower are supposed to be done in the exact same place is what's nasty as fuck, you bitch nigga. Just because you decided to wash your face. You probably use the same rag on your body that you do your face. Why are you talking to me? Like, what, what are you talking about? That's a whole different conversation, ain't it? Y'all don't have different rags for different parts of your body, do you? You don't have different razors for different parts of your body, do you? You don't have a you don't have a razor for your balls, a razor for your pubes, a, a razor for your hair leg, a razor for your the legs on your the hairs on your legs, a razor for your face. You don't have different razors. You do you don't. I know you use the same razor for everything. Like the same rag, the same towel, the same soap. You're nasty. Talking to me about I should be shamed and feel bad for having a five minute shower when my whole bathroom routine probably take me about 20 minutes. I can give myself like two and a half minutes for teeth brushing, right? That's not a manscape ad. You wildin'. You wildin'. That's not even a manscape ad. I could take myself two and a half minutes for brushing my teeth, right? Now, tongue included. What up? We talking about hygiene right now, and I'm seeing that a lot of the, a lot of the niggas in here is just nasty. Brushing your tongue, brushing your lips too. A, a lot of niggas probably don't use different toothbrushes for brushing their lips that they do for their tongue, that they do for their fucking, that, that, that they do for their mouth or like for their teeth. Tongue scraper, toothbrush for your teeth, another toothbrush for your lips. You don't have that. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. You are. Oh man. Okay. Here's the thing, right? Nah. This nigga said, why are we brush? Oh my god. I knew y'all niggas was nasty, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, you niggas are disgusting. You niggas are disgusting. I don't want to hear you, bro. I don't want to hear you talk to me. I don't want to hear you talk to me, bro. I don't want to hear you talk to me, bro. I don't want to hear you talk to me. There Oh my Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Nah, that's crazy. What's your skincare routine? Stop, stop. You're, You're not about to do that. You're not about to do way. that. Stop, 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 stop. You're not about to try to gaslight me into believing that the reason that niggas don't brush their lips is because they pour when it costs $2 to get a toothbrush. You can use a toothbrush on your lips. Stop it. Stop it. Niggas said brushing lips is crazy. Holy fuck. This is crazy. Oh my God. I was shaving my sag and cut it. I was so down bad. And poor that I had to wash my hair with washing liquid. What the fuck? You were shaving your sag? Your sag? You mean your sack? What was down bad? What? Oh my god. You just said, why are you brushing your lips? You're revealing a lot about yourself, bro. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. I can't believe this. Okay, okay. So for the men in here, because I know most women do it. For the men in here. Do y'all, do y'all, oh my God. Do you use toilet paper when you pee? 
Do you wipe your dick hole when you pee? Yes or no? Why did I see no's? Second question for men. Second question for men. This nigga called me a female. You nasty. Let the people know. Glad you glad you exposing yourself so niggas know to stay away from you. You feel me? Second question. You as a man, when you go out in public, what do you carry with you? You as a man, when you go out in public, what do you always bring with you? Nigga said the strap. That's not what... Not your walk. <laughs> These niggas are dumb. You niggas are stupid. Wet wipes. You bring wipes. They saying a gun, none for chapstick toe. Bro, if you got the gun, just turn it on yourself at that point. If the only thing that you're prepared for is a nigga trying to shoot at you when you leave a house and not for unexpected shits, dry lips, or dry skin, you need to get yourself about the way. You just need to go ahead and get yourself about the way. You're of no use to society at that point. What's going on? Show us the ball deodorant. Don't worry. You ain't saying nothing but a, no, cause I'm I'm not I'm, no, cause I'm not being paid. I'm not being paid to do that. Okay, I always keep it on me. It's always around, even when you think it's not. It's always around. And I'll be honest, bro. It's just too much. This is this is crazy. So y'all mean to tell me, right? You in public, you in public, you out, girl calls you out crazy. Hey, I want to take you out today. I want to see you. You go out somewhere with her, probably to eat. You have your feel. Y'all have a great day. You have your feel, bro. Y'all might go catch a movie later or you might just go pull up to her house instead. And you mean to tell me you had a whole bunch of food, right? On the way and some shit. Nothing too crazy. And you feel comfortable. All the noises that your stomach ends up making. Dot, yes, I was so broke that I wash my head with washing liquid. I thought you were talking about your ball sack. Chapstick, wallet, and napkin just in case of anything random. Okay, a knife ain't gonna do shit for you. Um, It might if you're in close combat. But how the, how the fuck do you prepare for that? I, I don't know. Um... A knife. I used to carry a knife, but like I'll be honest, bro. I never found myself in a situation where I needed the knife. Gun different, but knife no. Um, but if if that's all you want to carry, I'm not telling you to go the extra mile if you don't need to. Please don't. Um, chapstick reasonable. Wallet of course. Uh, napkin over wet wipe kind of crazy. I would switch to wet wipe, but napkin is cool too. Do what you want. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want. It's not about carrying a purse. Use your pockets, nigga. Unless you got your hands in somebody else's. But anyway, girl calls you up. Say, I want to take you out. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all go out, have a good meal. Y'all might still be out walking around doing your thing. Or y'all might go back to her place or whatever the case is. You mean to tell me that your rumble of your stomach, the rumble of your stomach don't get to you at a certain point? You're like, yo. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Boom. You shit your soul out. All the things that were inside you, your internal residue, your internal organs, all that shit is beneath you now. And you mean to tell me that you don't think, you mean to tell me you think some regular toilet paper is going to be enough to get you back right? That's what you're trying to explain to me. And you put your, you, you know, you, you, you subject, you subject your underwear and whatever shorts or 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 what 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 is this called uh, joggers to the exorcism that you just had in the bathroom that's what you're subjecting your body to that's what you're subjecting your clothing to like that's what you're saying because that's what all the niggas that don't have wet wipes on them 
are, are telling me right now. That's what you're saying. And it's crazy. Use water. How the fuck are you using water and you're in a stall? Unless you're shitting in a fucking urinal and you're a psychopath and need to be jailed and probably murdered in GTA. How the fuck are you carrying water in there with you? Why? Unless you're shitting, literally walking to the fucking bathroom, right? To the sink. You're shitting and then you go into the sink like this with your pants down here at your ankles and then you come back. And you and you sit back down. If that unless that's what you're doing, you can't do that. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? He four feet. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When I just stood up now, I just looked at least six two. So I don't know what you're talking about. You be douching in public. I don't know what that is. Is that a little whatever? <clears throat> when you were a young lad, my foreskin was on some shit. Long story short, she sucked my... All right. All right, bro. A bidet? Okay, first of all, most most of you aren't going to places nice enough to have a bidet or don't have a bidet yourself, okay? And that's okay because I'm not classes. <clears throat> all right, hold on. We gave myself the little buddy for that one. I'm not classist, okay? So it's okay if you don't have a bidet. That's fine, bro. Now, if you do get one, that's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Live it up. That's a crazy experience when you first have it happen to you. But second, you cannot shame me if you haven't had the type of shit in your life where you're like, damn, you know what? I got to take a shower. You can't shame me if you haven't had that moment happen to you where it's like, you know what? That's not even me that's in there. What just happened to that fucking, that toilet right there, that's not me. I got to remove myself from the situation. It don't matter what you're eating. You're going to have that happen at some point in your life, bro. You're just going to have it. You're going to have to have it happen at some point in your life. That's not in public. Yes, but that's why I said carry wet wipes. And even if you don't have one of those like cereal shits, it's okay. Still carry them. Y'all are acting like this is crazy. You can't try to come at my life and my whole existence and my life expectancy on some, oh my God, how can you get to your problem areas and your body in general in five minutes? Meanwhile, you take the 20 minutes in the shower because you're washing your face in there, brushing your teeth in there, cleansing your sins, asking God for forgiveness for being a thought the whole week, trying to wash away all your past transgressions. Meanwhile, I'm just in there to wash my body. Couple minutes to, to clean my mouth out, plus lips. Wash your ears. Just to say your diet so bad, your boobs require you to carry a package of wet wipes every time you leave the crib. No, you should still just carry wet wipes. You should still just carry wet wipes. For my eyes only, like, thank you for allowing the rest of the world insight into you being a nasty ass nigga, but you should still just carry wet wipes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you good? You cool? You chilling? Because I don't think you chilling. Stop saying lips, 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 lips. Are you good? You'll never carry wet wipes. <sighs> There's really no use trying to change the world. There's really no use trying to change the world. There's no part of my mouth that you like. There, I don't think there's a part of my mouth that I haven't explored with a toothbrush. To answer that question, what toothbrush? What toothpaste do I use? What is it called? Ain't it um like aluminum free? I think that's what it's called. I might be tripping. I don't know if it's aluminum. It's something free. No fluoride free. Fluoride fl uh, free. That's what it's called. Toothpaste like that usually get the job done. Nothing too crazy. How is that pause? That's not pause. These niggas don't need. Oh, my fucking God. Only reason I haven't used uh, charcoal toothpaste is because somebody told me something about it that I never followed up and looked up on. That's not what I meant. 
I didn't mean aluminum. I'm thinking of my. I was thinking of my uh, my deodorant. I was thinking of my deodorant. But the only reason I haven't used charcoal toothpaste is because somebody told me something about it, and I haven't verified it. But it came from a reliable source. But I just haven't done it. You clean your belly button. Why are you saying that I should too? I tell niggas on a regular basis they should clean their belly button. I tell niggas on a regular basis they should clean their belly button. Everybody in the chat right now, put your finger in your belly button and smell your finger. If you didn't like what you smell, I got news for you. What's going on? Exactly. Half of you niggas is lying. Half of you niggas is lying. Half of you niggas is lying, and the other half of you niggas got Audis. Fluoride is good for the teeth too. Look, bro. Niggas said no need to clean. Niggas said no need to clean. Everyone in chat scratch the back of their ear and They not listening to you, little bro. You ain't got it like that. They not listening to you, little bro. It's only me. What little baby said, it's only me. Y'all don't even be feeling the back of your ears. The only time you... I just... I can't even... The only time you niggas check your ear is when you put ear pods in. And you look at these shits months later. You take them out. You're like, oh, shit. That's crazy. And instead of just cleaning out your ear pods... It's the same concept. If you got if you got wired earphones, what are you talking about? You still got to... What? Are We not about to get into this conversation because that's going to make me mad. That's going to piss me off. Regardless, my whole thing was basically just wash your ass, bro. And, I mean, obviously the people in here that are taking 20 and 30 minute showers are at the lower end of that totem pole. So we don't really need to address them. They're, uh, they're not valuable to us in terms of time consumption overall like uh, uh uh just efficiency about protecting the planet protecting themselves and um doing things in a way that is indicative of someone that has like a job or like has a life because i don't think you have one generally you're not going to school or nothing like that you're taking 30 minute showers bro i just don't believe you bro it's just it is what it is um and if you are in there 30 minutes you're not just cleaning your body it's just not it's just not facts bro you in there wasting time, playing with yourself, um, you know, thinking about your life and shit like that, which is fine. Do your thing, but don't blame it on you washing your body or you needing to be in there for 20 minutes and then trying to come at niggas for, you know, taking five to 10 minutes for their own body. Like it, like it take, like it take them that long. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. That's what I'm saying. WK for admitting that you just be standing in there sometime. Cause sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just get caught in trans uh transitioning and shit like that you just get caught in the moments get caught in emotions you just be standing there not not thinking about not doing shit you just like damn that's the only thought that you have while you're in there too sometimes you're like damn 20 minutes is not long 20 minutes is a fucking eternity and i know because i used to spend 20 minutes in the shower when i was a teenager i used to spend 20 and 30 minutes in the shower when i was a teenager and you know what the fuck i was doing not cleaning all the way from the moment I got in there to the moment I got out, you think I was scrubbing the entire time? That's what you think? Fucking insane. Fucking insane. Talk to me about shit. And if it take you 30 minutes to, to clean yourself in the shower, bro, you, you weigh 300 plus pounds. Which, again, there's nothing wrong with. Do your thing. But it don't take you that long, bro. Most of you niggas are under 200 pounds. Stop it. Stop it. That's you? Nigga, I don't give a fuck if that was me. I'm telling you what I was doing. And I know what you niggas are doing. 